Tennessee entered Friday's game against NC State with a number of demons in tow, including six straight losses in the Georgia Dome, four straight away from Neyland Stadium to the Atlantic Coast Conference, and the bitter end to last season, but those doubts and more were exercised thanks to a 35-21 win over the Wolfpack. The Vols and new wide receiver Cordero Patterson got on the board first thanks to a 41-yard strike from Tyler Bray. A mixed extra point and a touchdown from State were minor setbacks as Bray and Rogers, Zach Rogers, that is, connected for a 72-yard strike. Kurt Majit sacked State quarterback Mike Glennon for a safety, and Patterson took an end around 67 yards for another touchdown, the 22 points marking a first quarter high since the 2000 season. From there, the teams largely traded punches, with the most bitter game of the play sure to be what was ruled a fumble on a goal line dive for Bray just before the half but with Tennessee's secondary forcing four interceptions, the Wolfpack never quite regained momentum. Rajon Neal added a touchdown and Michael Pilardi two field goals for the Vols' other scorers. Tennessee finished with 525 total yards, with Bray finishing 27-41 of 41 for 332 yards and a pair of TDs. Marlon Lane led UT on the ground with 75 yards on nine carries, while Patterson finished his UT debut with 93 yards receiving. The Vols host Georgia State next Saturday at 4 p.m. in a game televised on pay-per-view.